Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at the index function and what happens when you use a zero for either the row or column argument in that formula. So let's see how that works in Excel. So here I have a little data range and just to simplify some things I named this range data and I'm just going to show a typical index match type of formula. So if I want to find what the location is for BP987, I would type something like equals index, my array is data, my row number, I'm going to match this in this column here, which is called model, and a zero and exact match comma and then for the column I want to match location here in this range that's called column with this exact match close the match function close the index function hit enter there's my typical index and match formula and it gives me the result of Austin and if I change say location to inventory it gives me the value if I change the different model it'll give me the results so there's your typical index and match formula but now what happens if we replace either the argument for row or column with a zero well let's go up here and take a look let's say I'm going to look for BP 197 I'm going to do index my array is going to be data my row number, I want to match that with model, and I want that to be an exact match. And for the column argument, I'm going to put in a zero. Close that, hit enter, and what Excel does, it returns all the columns that match that data, not just the one column that I might define in the column argument. And if I copy that down, Again, here's the formulas. By using a zero for the column argument, it provides the data for the entire row. The same would be the case for the columns. If I typed in equals index, my array is data, comma, and I put a zero in for the row argument, and for the column argument, I do a match function, I want to match, say, inventory here within the column group, zero, close my match function, close the index function, hit enter, and it's going to give me that entire column. Again, if I change inventory to location, it'll give me the list of all the locations. Description, same thing happens. And finally, what happens if we put a zero in both arguments? Equals index, my array is data, comma, zero for the row argument, zero for the column argument, close that. I basically get all the data or that entire data range, and that's the formula for that. So as you can see in the little text box here, it says if the row number or column number argument is set to zero, an index formula returns the reference for the entire column or row respectively. If both row or column numbers are omitted, the index function returns the area specified in the area number argument. And that's how you can do that in Excel. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so at my website, excel-bice.com, or at any of the social networks noted below. Thanks a lot, have a great day, and happy excelling.